Hi, my name is Mike Howard. I'm a sales engineer at Magnitude Software, and today I'm going to show you how to configure your Magnitude Connectivity Presto ODBC driver for Windows. If you've not yet installed the driver, check out our video tutorial on installing your Magnitude Connectivity driver. The most common way to configure a driver on Windows is to create a data source name, more commonly referred to as a DSN. This is done using the ODBC Administrator program on your desktop. Windows comes with two versions of ODBC Admin installed, one for each bitness. Make sure to use the version that matches the bitness of the driver in the application you want to use. Once you've opened ODBC Admin, you have the option to configure a user or a system DSN. For this demo, I will create a system DSN, but the process for creating a user DSN is the same. Your driver includes a sample DSN to get you started. However, for the sake of completeness, I'm going to create a new one. Clicking the Add button displays a dialog containing the list of drivers installed in your machine. Selecting a driver, in our case the Presto ODBC driver, will display the configuration dialog for that driver. The DSN config dialog is where you set your connection settings. The first setting is where you set your data source name. This is the name for the connection that will appear in application DSN lists. Um, this can only be set when you're creating a new DSN. It cannot be edited um, in existing DSNs. So I'm going to name it Presto Demo. The second field is an optional description field where you can make notes or comments about the DSN. Oh, so I will add a note that says this is a DSN for Presto config demo. So there are only two required settings to create a connection to Presto, a host and a port. So if you're trying to connect to a basic no off Presto install, that's all you need to set and your configuration is complete. So port, host, then I can test. If you do have authentication on your Presto server, the driver supports two methods of authentication, Kerberos and LDAP. Both of these can be selected from the authentication type dropdown menu. Selecting one of these options will enable the appropriate user or user and password options. The driver also gives you the option to encrypt and save the password to the registry. If you do not save the password, the driver will prompt the user for the password on each connection. So I'm going to go back to no auth because my Presto server does not have authentication on it. In the data source section, you can specify the default catalog and schema using the catalog and schema dropdowns. These dropdowns will actually make a connection to your Presto database. So make sure you have your host and port already defined. I'm going to pick TPCH as my catalog and tiny as my schema. Complete documentation on setting a local time zone can be found in the driver documentation. So the driver also has additional SSL options located in the SSL config dialog, uh, which is launched using the SSL options button on the main dialog. In this dialog, you can either enable or disable SSL, uh, choose a certificate using browse, or set various uh, SSL config settings. The driver ships with a default certificate, which is located in the driver install directory. By using this browse button, you can use whichever certificate you want. The driver also supports several advanced options located in the advanced options dialog. The first one is the server version. This allows the user to specify the version of Presto they are using. Because the feature set can vary between different versions of Presto, providing the driver with additional information about the server can help the driver communicate more effectively. The next option is a connection test option. This checkbox sets whether the driver should make an exploratory rest call to the server on connection. This is by default set to true, as the initial call is used to determine server availability. However, this can be disabled to increase performance if the application is making multiple connections. Be aware that by disabling this option, connecting the driver will always succeed as the driver is not actually making a request to the server. The auto populate parameter metadata is also defaulted to true. and allows the driver to inference parameter metadata based on type rather than waiting for a described parameter response from the server. 
We recommend that you leave this feature enabled unless you're experiencing issues related to parameter type. The driver also supports six levels of logging, which can be found in the logging options dialog. If you're debugging an issue with our support team, we'll frequently ask for a trace level log to help us reproduce an issue. Make sure to turn logging off when not debugging, as logging is very costly and can have a massive impact on driver performance. Once you've configured the settings, you can test the connection using the test button. If the test is successful, press OK to save your DSN. You've now successfully configured your driver and are now ready to start using your connection with whichever ODBC application you choose. Feel free to check out some of our other videos demonstrating how to use the driver in various BI tools. If you have any questions, please check our FAQ section located on our website or email us at solutions at Thank you for choosing Magnitude Connectivity and we hope you enjoy the product.